All right, let's try a little something more hard surface this time. So let's go to out of edit mode, hit control N, hit the comma key to bring up your light box here, go into the project tab, and let's choose the polysphere. With that one selected, let's turn off perspective, turn on polyframe, go to geometry, go down to subdivision level one, delete higher, hold down shift to snap that view straight to the front, hold down control shift, then we'll hold down alt and drag over those bottom polygons to go ahead and delete them. So under geometry, modify topology, let's go ahead and just do delete hidden. And we'll go in here with our Z modeler brush, BZM, hover over a face, Q mesh, all polygons, and we'll just pull out to give that some thickness here. If you want a little bit more, just tap on that face there and hold down shift, and it'll just pull along those surface normals. In fact, let's do Q mesh polygroup all, and we'll just pull these outer ones out holding down shift. Once you got that set up how you want, let's go ahead and go to our crease menu under the geometry menu, and we'll do crease PG. That'll go and crease those polygroups. If we hit D to turn on our dynamic subdivs, you'll see we'll get even smoother results. Let's go ahead and apply those subdivisions, and then we'll hit delete lower, and we'll send this into Houdini. Before you do that, of course, make sure your Z up, or sorry, Z forward, Y up. If you want to change this, if you want to say, you know, rotate this back a little bit, you can do that using your gizmo. And if you're ready to go, just hit go Z like we've done in the previous go Z videos, and let's hop back over into Houdini. That'll go ahead and bring our object in here, and just like we did previously with the female head, We'll just double click on the polysphere we just made, hit tab, start typing in vec for vector displacement. And if you don't have this node, go to the description and that'll show you where to download that. We'll go ahead and connect this here to your vector displacement. Go ahead and turn that visibility on. And just like we did before, let's go ahead and lower that resolution to 256 while we work. Let's go around to the back here and we'll go ahead and rotate this UV, go up to one with your middle mouse and just drag that around until you get that a little more evened out there. If you want to change the clip depth, again, middle mouse button, go down here to 0.01, and then just go ahead and change that in and out until you get to your desired result. If we want to lessen the distortion in here, let's try doing pelt, rotate UV. Let's go ahead and change this blur border amount quite a bit. We can also do this translate UV to 0.01, and we'll go ahead and move these UVs down just a tad. Now in these corners here, Let's do this border blur distance. Go ahead and crank those in just a bit. And again, I'm just kind of playing between that border blur distance and that border blur amount to get the result that I want. Once I'm happy, we can go ahead and crank this resolution back up. You can go to 512 or even higher to 1024 or whatever you think you're gonna need to bring back into ZBrush. Once you have that ready to go, just like we did with any of the GoZ export options, just hit tab, start typing in GoZ. Go to the GoZ export, plug that in, tap the GoZ export. If you want to rename this before you go in, just double click here and rename this, but I'll go ahead and just keep this, and we'll say send to ZBrush. So here is our new vector displacement plane. If we want to add it to our chisel brush we had, hit BC, go back into the chisel 3D here, and let's go over here to the brush. If you don't have your brush palette docked over here, just take your brush menu and just put it over here, and then we'll do from mesh. I'll go ahead and throw this over here and you'll see when we have it selected that'll go ahead and go ahead and give us our vector displacement. And now when we drag this out, that'll go ahead and drag out our hard surface object. Now if you want to do compound shapes, like for instance this one here, the sphere one will be very easy. So if we go out of edit mode, hit control N, go into our tool palette here, grab your sphere 3D, drag it out, go into edit mode, make a poly mesh 3D. Let's go ahead and hit go Z to throw that over into Houdini. Double click that node, hit tab, start typing out your vector displacement plane, connect that one in, turn on visibility, go to the back here, middle mouse click, rotate your UVs, very nice. Again, feel free to play with any of these to get the desired result. The resolution and everything else looks fine to me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go hit tab, type in go for the GoZ export, connect those in, select that, and we'll just send that over to ZBrush. Now that we have that set up, we've got our chisel brush right here. Let's go ahead and do one from mesh. And now let's combine those two shapes. I'm gonna hit the comma key here, go into project, miscellaneous, brush 3D template. With our chisel brush selected, we can go ahead and select that one. If it changes any of the settings, we wanna do Z intensity of 100, focal shift down to negative 100, and drag rectangle. Let's crank up our resolution on this plane to nine. Go ahead and drag out our first object here. And if you want to, if you want to kind of play with the deformations here, you can go over here, relax plane grid, and kind of relax some of your geo. 
We'll go ahead and select the sphere. Go ahead and drag that out if you want to. You can go ahead and just mask, hold down control, and just mask this geo here. So now when we drag out the sphere in the middle here, it won't get interrupted by this other mesh here. So now that you have those selected, you can go ahead and do brush from mesh. And now we have those compound shapes there. If we don't need these ones anymore, we can go ahead and select that one. Under your brush create menu, hit delete delete and then we just have this one so on this plane we just created if we hit control Z and just undo what we've done so far we can now take this compound shape and just drag that out so now you can do hard surface you can do organic you can do compound hard surface shapes all with arbitrary meshes using go Z and Houdini